How's it going, everybody? Well, guess what? It's Saturday, and I'm in the house, and I'm just taking a break from the heat. I got something I need to fix, and you probably have a good idea what it is. It's one of these fixed or repaired daily things. Now, this obviously is the airbag from a Ford van. There's the steering wheel. And you see all these other parts just kind of floating around here. So what in the world happened now? Well, of course, good old Rick's got a broken down van again. What else is new? So this is just something else to deal with. Now, as you, if you've watched my videos, that is, would know, I've had issues with the van. The horn doesn't work. It's never worked, even when my dad had it back in 2010. And I've been having issues with the turn signal switch, sometimes working, not working. So it's got problems too. So I figured, you know what? I was driving the van and it was making a grinding sound when I was turning the wheel. The wheel kind of got stuck. It was hard to steer. And then on top of that, when I was at Sedano's to buy some meat, I went out there and I went to turn the key and it wouldn't move. And the whole column was kind of stuck. So you know what I did? I said, you know what? When I go home, I'm going to go ahead and take this thing apart. Now, I haven't really had to drive the van much other than to do one job because I've been using the bicycle for the short trips. So I figured, you know what, let me get this stupid thing fixed. So let's start off with the problem with the horn and the problem with the airbag. Well, this is gonna be in what's known as the airbag clock spring. As you can see, it's got a couple of pieces here. This piece is fixed to the column. It snaps on through these little clips. This piece goes with the steering wheel and this goes on the back side, which snaps it together. And this is what controls the turn signal switch. There's this little little thing here called a canceling finger or arm and it rocks back and forth and it rubs up against this little centerpiece which is right here. See it has this little thing and then it'll kind of like fit on there and you know depending on the position it's either going to push it one way or the other and this will cause the switch to move back to the middle position because you click it one way to turn left one to turn right and then when it moves you have these two little wheels here that are spring loaded hopefully the springs don't go flying there's some grease on there a couple of retainers and it does have little rollers so what i'm going to do i'm going to go ahead and try to fix this what was wrong with it i think is when the van sat all those years moisture got in here i did find a dead cockroach inside the housing so i think with a little bit of cleaning and some fresh grease, it might work just fine. Otherwise, I believe you can get a new one for around $30 or less, maybe more for a higher end one, but we'll see if we can fix that. But on the clock spring, what is this thing really? Well, again, it's missing the main part. There's actually a ribbon cable, a wire that coils around here. And then as you turn the wheel, it either tightens or loosens. Think of like a lawnmower pull start. You have the recoil start, and when you pull it, it goes one way, it tightens up the spring, then it spins back. Well, this is kind of the same thing, except instead of being a spring, it's a flat package of wires. Now, what do those wires look like? Well, again, this thing is missing, so I can't show it to you. But over here, I actually have taken this off. This is like a little cover that was on top of this. This is the ribbon cable remnant. This is the only thing left of it. It's about 10 millimeters wide, it has what looks like seven conductors. The two big conductors are the ones that go to the airbag that goes through this yellow cable. And then these other conductors go over here. Now, there's only two wires coming out that goes to the horn. These extra ones are most likely for cruise control or other function buttons they may have on the steering wheel. This is a basic one, so it doesn't have any. So in order for me to fix this, I was trying to get a new unit, but I couldn't find an aftermarket replacement. I could find these all day for the F-Series trucks of that year, but for the 97 to 2003 or whatever year it is van, they don't have any of them. I've only been able to find the OEM Ford part, and even at a discount, the cheapest one is somewhere like 80 bucks. So, and if it's less than that, they just charge you more in shipping. I don't really feel like getting it. You know, money is tight. So what I did, I found a company online that sells what they call FFC cable, which is that ribbon cable. And I was able to buy 10 feet of it for the low, low price of $8. 
I don't know if that's really a low price, but hey, I can afford that. So I'm going to try to get that, and then I'm going to go ahead and try to solder this in. Now again, as you can see, it just solders right onto these terminals, and then it'll have to be wrapped around this. This cardboard in here is to help make it easier to slide. We'll put this back together, and hopefully that will fix the clock spring issue, which will restore the functionality of the airbag and allow the horn to work when I push this. Okay, now in terms of the turn signal switch, it's just a matter of putting it back together. In terms of the steering column sticking, I was able to disassemble that, put in a new bearing, and hopefully, hopefully, that continues to work. So anyway, that's what I'm doing on Saturday, and uh, hope you're having a good Saturday. Maybe you are one of those people that lives in a place with something called seasons. Oh, wow. In that case, you may be getting fall weather, but not here. It's just going to be hot and humid. And again, I have to take the bike to go to the auto parts. So on the way back, I'll hit the Fresco Imas. If I get a chance, I'll make a video. But that's it. So this is what I'm up to today. And now what I got to do, I got to put these parts for the clock spring into one of these zip bags so I don't lose it until next week when the ribbon cable comes in. And this is always handy because a lot of times when you're working on a project, if you tend to forget about it, you're not going to know where the parts are. Now, I'm one of those people that can take things apart and 10 years later remember how to put it together. But if you're not one of those people, you definitely want to take pictures and maybe even make some notes. And that's it. So, anyway, I'll catch you later.